Hey guys, I'm Anand, the your tech guy from Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the procedure to replace the keyboard of the Lenovo IdeaPad L340. This applies for the gaming as well as the non-gaming series. Uh, it might be a backlit keyboard or non-backlit keyboard. The process will remain the same. You would have a Core i5 or a Core i7 variant or a Core i3 variant. Also, the process will remain the same for this entire laptop. So let's do it. So if your laptop is something that looks like this on the top panel, it might be a grey or a silver colour. When you open up, you have the nano bezel, the way it is, the screen is uh, anti-glare and when you have the touchpad looked at and the keyboard, this is the way the keyboard and touchpad looks like. Then this is the process that you have to apply. And when you look at the base, this is the way the base looks like and you might have a DVD writer or you might not have a DVD writer. If this is the way the base looks like, then you have to apply this procedure. Just to give you a sneak peek on the laptop, uh, you have a charging pin connector, you have an Ethernet port, HDMI, you have two USB 3.0 port, one headphone mic combi and one C-type connector. You have a power indicator and you have a standby indicator. The speaker grill is over here on the left. Front there are absolutely no screws whatsoever. On the right, uh, there is another speaker grill. You have a caddy bay here on the right and that's the way the laptop is. start things up, we will flip the laptop and uh, we need to remove all the screws that are visible. Start from the hinges screws. If you want uh, to put a caddy onto this particular laptop and if there is a bay like this which is available, just need to remove this one screw and remove this entire thing. Just take a hard disk caddy and uh, you can put another storage onto this particular laptop. So after removed all the screws, now we need to open the laptop back. Start protruding from any one edge you have the battery here you have the hard drive uh, you have the ram here you have the m.2 nvme ssd area here so we'll start removing the battery first thing first just remove this connector very gently. So if you have to replace the battery, uh, model number is uh, L18C3PF2. So if you have a replacement battery of the similar kind, you can use it. So coming to the part where you can put the SSD, you can buy any M.2 NVMe SSD and you can insert it over here. It's a good thing by Lenovo that on the entry level laptops also they are giving the SSD slot availability. The hard disk held by this particular strip connector just need to remove it and then we need to remove the screws. You can take a 2.5 SAT hard drive or SSD 2.5 form factor and uh, you can put a new hard drive. In a scenario your hard drive has failed. You need to remove these four screws one, two, three and four. Once these screws have been removed, you can uh, remove the metal frame and put the hard drive here and then again fit the hard drive back. So this is a unique arrangement that Lenovo has. It does not allow you to remove the connector. It's a good thing in a way. So we need to remove the fan here for which we need to remove the Wi-Fi antennas. Remove the fan connector. If you want to replace the fan, this is the fan that you need to buy. Take a note of this fan, take a similar fan and you can replace the fan also. We need to remove the display totally. If the screw has slipped a little, then you need to do what I am doing it here now. It's 
very very tight we'll loosen it remove the vga cable this is the display cable which connects to your laptop screen and uh, remove the wi-fi cables and your display will be off now we need to remove the motherboard so that we can access the plate here and then the keyboard remove all the strip connectors this is the keyboard connector this is the wi-fi chip to remove the screws of the motherboard one by one so one two and three screws removed and you have the motherboard in hand in a scenario you have to replace the motherboard this is the motherboard that you need to buy the part code is uh, fg7 n0 fg540 so this is the motherboard that you need to buy in a scenario your motherboard has failed completely So any keyboard uh, of uh, IdeaPad 310, 320, 330 will fit for this particular model also. They are all same keyboards, there is no difference in terms of keyboard. Now we need to remove this plate that you can see and uh, let's start doing it slowly. We need to use a, a nail cutter like this and we need to remove all these rudders that you can see here. It's a bit of a laborious task but uh, I can assure you this will save you a lot of money instead of going to a Lenovo service center, getting it done, paying 6 to 7 thousand rupees, you can get done easier, much much easier and at a cheaper price if you are doing it yourself. That is what is DIY, right? Now take a transparent tape like this and start putting it. This is an insulator as well as the dust would not go in. This is a very small thing that I do but this also matters a lot. Now keep it on one side and this is the plate, this is the way it goes and fits. So we need to put a self adhesive tape here so that it can fit well. We are using a 3M tape and we suggest you to use a 3M tape only. That is what will fit absolutely fine.
see to it that the other surface is glued properly before removing the adhesive cover. Now start removing the upper layer which lat on to the base. Very very carefully align the hinges first. You need to fold the keyboard strip here, uh, there are lines here which have been shown. Alright, so we will now fit the motherboard. Just clean the fan and uh, put it whenever you are opening the laptop, see to it that you clean the fan, it's a good practice. Now take the display frame back and uh, put it just below the way it was, place it like this. So in this video we have shown you how to basically rip apart and get to the base of the Lenovo IdeaPad L340. This is the non-gaming edition. Remember if you have a 4GB graphic card variant this will not apply. This is specifically for the 2GB graphic variant and without backlit card. Now after watching this video you will be able to replace the motherboard, the battery, the hard drive, put a NVMe SSD, put a RAM, get to the keyboard, remove the entire touchpad, remove the display assembly completely uh, remove and access the motherboard also replace it literally everything that you want to know about your Realmo IdeaPad L340 that is a non-gaming edition this is only and only for the 2GB graphic variant or non-graphic variants of Lenovo IdeaPad L340 we'll do another video for L340 gaming edition laptop the process is pretty similar uh, but we'll have to do a video for that also hope you like the video guys do some suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us and uh, hit the bell icon. Thank you so much.